What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some market talk as per usual. Um, yeah, guys, so we're gonna go over the market as per usual. Drop 20,000 MT in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you are new for a chance of winning 20 thousand mt as well as possibly winning a uh, psn code so let's get this video to 100 likes market talk is here we're going to give you a ton of market tips also uh what you should do with cards sell now all that good stuff so let's get right into it also if you guys are new make sure to drop the sub and follow my twitter down below and instagram so all right let's get into it um so first off um, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I popped about 130k in these packs, and I got nothing. I didn't even get an Amethyst, I didn't even get a Carmelo, I got If Smith and Darius Garland like four times. The odds in these packs are really bad, not gonna lie. Honestly, terrible, terrible. Also, uh, I think a new Legacy series is gonna come out, or Prime, whatever. One of those, Legacy 2 or Prime 2, I don't know what it is, but one of those are probably gonna drop soon. So stay tuned for that. Also, new Chris Paul is really fire. I'm going to recommend you guys do cop him if you do need a guard. He's really, really good. So let's get to the market. Right now, market is actually rising. Market is rising. It's a great time to sell today or tomorrow. Um, personally, I've been working on the diamond filter. I did lose a ton of MT from packs. I'm not even going to lie. Kind of depressed about it. Don't really want to spend money on the game. So I'm going to be grinding out some snipe filters today. And uh, Diamond Filter enabled by Jamal Wilkes, Jerry West, and Earl Monroe to make this filter a lot better. And you could also buy Austin Carr um, to make this filter a lot better. And then just press Enabled. If you, do, if you don't have any of those cards, you can't really work the Diamond Filter because Earl Monroe does block it. Like I'll show you right here. If I do Enabled, Earl Monroe's, Jerry West, and uh, Wilkes destroy the filter. So one filter would recommend is that one. Um... I'm going to just throw up a couple filters. One other filter that was pretty good the other day. I don't know if it's good now because the market is slower. But I ran Pink Diamond and I ran 99, 950. And I, all I did was scroll. This filter could be money for some 100k snipes. Like maybe Bird or some, something. Only problem is there is low-key a decent amount of cards up here. So it could work out. It could. I got one card. It was Booker. I sold him for 115 or 120. Not the biggest snipe. But it could work out. I would recommend this filter for um, people who have more MT and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. Honestly, I've been looking at James Worthy. I'm trying to pick up James Worthy. Also, if you do want to switch through positions, not a bad idea. But since the market is slower, I guarantee you Silver Filter is going to work a lot better. And especially since they are so cheap. And also, I do have a lot of Silvers in my collection. Further reasoning... Usually all the silvers in my collections are all the cheap silvers. So if you do have a ton of cheap silvers, um, I would recommend just keeping them in your collection. Like I have a ton of silvers in my collection. If they are in my collection, it's probably because they're so cheap. So I'm honestly just going to pick up all the silvers up here. He's actually a snipe, I believe. Oh, I missed it. Um, let's check out his price. I actually think he's really... Yeah, I'm not really that big of a snipe, but as you can see, silver filter's pretty hot. Stuff pops up all the time. Heat check filter also is really solid. I didn't mean to go up that high. I always put my heat check filter to around like 1700. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start completing some collections slowly. I do need more MT to do so, so I'll be sniping all day. I'm gonna try to make at least 100k today. I do have some stuff to sell. I'm pretty much selling most of my team today. And also, I did transfer about 500k to another account just in case I did get banned. And also, if you guys do want to buy MT, I would recommend buying MT. Don't buy BC. Listen, you're not going to get banned. The only people who are going to get banned are the people promoting like me and whatnot. But also, you have to realize 2K banned all like the bigger YouTubers. And they haven't banned anyone since that giant riot. So... It looks like they have banned the bigger YouTubers to stop promoting. I'm still myself promoting it. I am smaller than most YouTubers like, like HTB, DBG, and all them. So uh, you're really not going to get banned. The, they're not going to look for the people buying it. They're looking for the people to promote it. Because without us, you're not going to know what MT sites to go to. So honestly, if you do want MT, I'm going to say right now, my MT website is legit. Um, they have 5% off. 
try them out you're not gonna get banned like you could diss me for promoting them but like bro i'm getting money for it so i don't know people hate when youtubers promote stuff but like bro if you were a youtuber you would understand as well so if you want try it try them out let me know how it goes if you have any problems i'll hit them up myself they will answer me but uh yeah right now with the market i'm gonna go over some things that i recommend so right now Market's really high. There's really nothing in packs to make the market go down. So I would recommend selling. Everything is going up. Bird went up a lot too. Uh, I'm going to go over some pink diamonds too. So I'm going to go over a ton of cards that you guys should sell. So right now, Bird, honestly, I think Bird's going to keep going down. Because then again, he has no value. He's not any crazy set with tokens and stuff. One of the best cards in the game. But honestly, I would recommend selling him. You could sell Gilbert Arenas, you could sell your Tatums, you could sell your Allen Iversons, you could sell your Kobe's, you could sell your Demars, sell your Wills, anything you have. Donovan Mitchell's. We'll go over Donovan Mitchell in this video too. Here we go, Donovan Mitchell. And also, we're going to see a token market update. Wow, I sold my Donovan Mitchell at the worst time, bro. I sold mine for 175 he's at 211 Big L for me. Wow, it's kind of that's really sad. I got him for so I got him for 120, sold him for 180, 178, something like that. He's now at 211 with three hours, six minutes left. He could possibly go in for six, like 300 KMT. So, big L, if you have Donovan Mitchell, make sure you put yours up on the auction ASAP. That's kind of an L. <sighs> really upset about that. Also, let me talk about some other stuff. So, the pink diamonds. They're dropping. Kobe is at 100K again. He was at 80K flat on Friday. I picked up. Oh my God, he dropped out of nowhere. 89K, 88K. I guess they dropped the pack because eight, he was literally 100K literally hours ago. I don't know. I guess they dropped the free prime pack. But uh, yeah, I would not recommend selling Kobe anymore. I would recommend selling every other card in the game though. If you have any, any cards besides Kobe, go ahead and sell. Carmelo. Uh, he's around 40-ish, 30-ish, so sell him. It's really nothing else, pretty much. Um, I'm probably going to have another video today on my budget squad. Um, this is my budget squad. I'm currently 3-0 online. It's really not about a budget squad. I just don't... I don't want to use my OT, OP team, because every time I versus OP, use my OP team, I verse better teams with Opals, and I get clamped up, and I get super tight. And not only that... With my OP teams, I usually go like 9-0, and and then I verse a complete sweaty nerd with all the glitch plays at um, at 9-0. and Like, usually they're 9-0 and as well, and their team's usually a lot better than mine. Like, my team's stacked, but their team's even better, and they're actually insane at the game. So, I like running this bronze squad with, a t like, a decent amount of gold. It's kind of cheese, but I honestly, I'm going to be better at the game than most kids with the squad like this. So, that's why I do run it. I'm going to try to get Baron Davis. Probably going to have a budget squad video right after this. And we're also going to go over budget players you should cop. So make sure to stay into that video. But yeah, right now, like I said, honestly, if you, I would not buy these packs. Those, Hakeem's expensive. If you do want to complete the spotlight, I would recommend it right now. You're probably not going to see him any cheaper. Let's check out Vince Carter's price. Vince Carter was around 100k still. Oh, wow. He's finally at a buyout. I actually might buy him. Kind of really like this card. I did use him. He's actually amazing. I pulled him in a pack. Um, but one thing I would recommend, if you do want to get Hakeem, not a bad time to get Hakeem. Not going to lie. Hakeem's price is varies. It goes up and down, up and down. At 200K, you're kind of getting a steal. If you get him for like 220, kind of a steal. Hakeem is one of the best centers in the game. Personally, I think he's the best center in the game. I'm going to try to get him on my team. I'm going to have Hakeem. I'm going to have Giannis at the 4-5. And then I'm going to try to get my Kareem to a diamond. But yeah, right now, pretty much overview of the market. Market is going up. Good time to do the spotlights would be now. If you want Richard Jefferson, I would recommend doing it now. And uh, yeah, so as the market's rising, we're going to keep going it over every day. But if they do drop a crazy prime set, that would be interesting because we will. Um, whoa, wait, hold on. These expires in nine days and 22 hours. That means we're not getting a spotlight this week. So that's kind of good news, I guess. Got more time to grind the spotlights, which I will be doing. Trying to get that Roy... But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, pretty much, sell whatever you got. If you have any snipes, let me know. If you guys have any snipes as well, if you got any crazy snipes, hit me up on Twitter. Maybe I'll make a top sm uh, snipes of the week. So yeah, that's really all I got. Make sure to sell now. Hopefully these tips help you. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more vids. Peace, guys.